Hey, Alan, do you know where the cake went? <sighs> what do you mean? It's right here. Have you ever wanted to pull the best April Fool's prank on someone? Well today we're going to be showing you guys the best and easiest pranks that you can pull on your family, your friends, or someone you don't like. Alright, so this right here is one of my favorite pranks since all of our friends love Pringles. What you're going to need obviously is a Pringles can, a water balloon. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to obviously empty the Pringle can and keep this part still on it. Don't rip it off. So what you're going to want to do here is you're going to want to put the water balloon underneath the sink and let it fill up. Now put the Pringles can underneath it. That's good. That's good. There we go. So after you fill the water balloon up, you don't want to tie it up. You want to put the tip over the edge of it like this and then you want to put the film on top of it and then put the cap on it just like this. So now the water balloon is secure, and the next time someone opens this can of Pringles, they're gonna be in for a little treat. Oh, Alex, can you grab me a can of Pringles? Yeah, sure, I got you. Okay, so for this next prank right here, we have this cup filled with Red Bull inside. Okay, not really. So, it appears that there's liquid inside the cup when there really isn't. And there's so many creative ways you can prank people with this, for example. Hey, Alex. <laughs> it's fake. It's empty. Alex, go get Isabel. Go. Alex, go. Hey, Isabella. So like we said, this is a really good way to give your friends or family like a good scare by pretending like you spilled a drink on them. Or you can take it to the next level like we did in the video. So everyone in our family loves Oreos. And if there's ever any Oreos laying around, then you're gonna eat it. And if your family's the same way, then you can prank them by doing this. So step one, you're obviously gonna need Oreos. And what you wanna do is you wanna replace the inside of the Oreos with this toothpaste like this. So you separate the Oreos like this, and you want to remove the cream with a napkin. And once it looks like this, you want to take the two Oreos and get your toothpaste, and you want to squeeze the toothpaste onto the Oreos like this. Here you don't want go. to put too much, it should be good. Look at that. And if you leave it out laying like this, I promise you someone's going to come around and eat this thinking it's a real Oreo. Okay, so for this next prank, what you're going to want to do is you want to go online and print out a scary picture of something like this. And then what you want to do is you want to tape it to the back of someone's car with a backup camera. And if done successfully, it should look like this. Okay, so this prank is actually very fun and really easy to pull off. What you're going to need is just some shaving cream, an ice cream cone, and what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to put the shaving cream inside the ice cream cone like this. And now, what does that look like to you? This looks like a vanilla ice cream cone. And what you can do with this is you can give it to one of your annoying siblings and give it to them to eat and see their reaction. Hey, I've actually this ice cream right here. Oh, just put it right here. Okay, cool. I would uh, eat it really quick before it melts too. Okay, so this next prank is a little bit more complicated, but if you can pull it off, then it's probably one of the funniest things that you can do. Basically, what you're gonna need is some body paint right here, any color body paint, and basically, if your shower head comes off, you're gonna wanna put this body paint inside the shower head, and it should come out looking like this. Ah! <laughs> there it is. Oh! What the? Alan, what's wrong? Dude, Wait, Alan, unlock, uh, Alan, unlock it so I can know what's I going on. Did. Alan. Why do I look like a crocodile? Who did this? You did. Wait, I did this. Yes, you did. Brent. Or if your shower head doesn't come off, you can replace the shampoo bottle with this entire bottle of body paint. And then the prank should come out looking like this. Yeah, you want to explain oh it? Oh my god. You want to explain you did that in the shampoo? Who did that? Who did Alan? We're the only two people who live here. So who, I don't know. Who okay, okay, all right. Turn the camera off. Alex, you look better. Alex, look, you look so much like you can see your muscles. You have a tan. You look good. Alex, don't wash off, Alex. Go wash up in one week. You look better. You know I still haven't gotten you back for that yet, right? You did. 
All right, so this prank is a really fun, easy, and harmless prank to do. All you need is a water bottle and something sharp to cut the water bottle with. So you need the water bottle to be about 60% full. And then you take a sharp object and you cut it right above the water bottle label like this and once you poke a hole in it you want to rotate it and you want to make like a circular hole and basically you want the hole to be about this size right here and now next time you hand someone a water bottle this should happen hey uh did you want the rest of this water yeah sure Alright, so for this next prank, you are basically baking a fake cake, and what I mean by fake is, it's a fake balloon cake. So what you're gonna need to pull off this prank is, you're gonna need a balloon, a cereal box, some whipped cream, and some sprinkles, and tape. Alright, so for the first step, you want to cut the top of the cereal box like this, and there we go! So for the next step, you're gonna want to tape the edges together. Here we go. First edge done. There we go. There we go. Now cover it together for me. Like that. There we go. But hold it tight. Like that. Push it in like that. There we go. There we go. That's too much. There we go. Perfect. Hold that corner together for me like that. And there we go. Okay, so after you've taped up all four corners, you're gonna wanna take the balloon right here, and you're gonna wanna blow it up to about this size right here. And then you place the balloon in the center of the cereal box like this. And now what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna take the balloon from this end to this end, like so, onto the cereal box. Right here, perfect. Okay, so now it is taped down where the balloon will not move. And the next step is you wanna put whipped cream over the entire tray, like this. This might take a while. <laughs> That's exactly what I was thinking. Okay, and now we're just adding the last bit of sprinkles on it. And there we go. I know it's not perfect, but this definitely sells it as a case. And now what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna offer this to some family members and see if they take the bait. Hey, Alan, I baked you a cake for your birthday. Now come get a slice. Not even my birthday, but okay. Yeah, all right, here, cut yourself right. a slice. Why the heck did that? I got scared! <laughs> Okay, so this is also a really funny prank to do. So what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to take either your mom or your dad's phone, go into their settings, and then you want to go down to general, and then you want to go down to keyboard, click on text replacement, and then add, click on the plus, click on phrase, change no to yes. Um, basically what happens now is whenever they say no, it autocorrects to yes. And what you can do with that is you can ask them something that they would normally say no to, and it would autocorrect to yes, and you can use that against them. All right, so we're gonna send our dad a text right here. Um, and I throw a party tonight. So he would normally say no to something like this, but uh, now it's gonna auto crack to. Oh. Oh, I didn't think. Well, just. I mean, maybe that was the wrong thing to ask. Maybe we should just ask if we can hang out with our friends. Um, yes, yeah, can I at least hang out with my friends? Send them that. There we go. And now he normally doesn't let us hang out with our friends, so. But this time it's gonna auto crack to. Yes. Oh, maybe. Okay, well maybe, so on a real note, we do need more friends, so if you want to be our friend, let us know by subscribing and commenting down below, let's be friends so we know you subscribe. Also, talk about commenting down below. If you guys watched our last two videos, you'll know that we were doing a hand sanitizer giveaway, and all you have to do to enter was subscribe, turn on our post notifications, and comment done when you were done in the comments. Where it's free sign in a batch, shipping hand sanitizers away, but that giveaway is already over, and, and we have picked a winner for this hand giveaway. Y'all thought we were joking, we're not. So, it's Alexi K. Hey now, Alexi, you are the lucky winner. Check your Instagram DM and we're gonna be shipping these away to you. So yeah, there we go. Also, if you didn't want to give away, don't be discouraged because we're actually giving this away. You can just prank your friends with this fake Red Bull water cup. And yeah, you know, so just uh, same rules apply here. Subscribe, turn on post notifications, and comment down done when you are done. And uh, we're gonna be shipping this away very soon. Okay, so for this next prank right here, it's actually a prank you guys can pull on us. And the best way to prank us is by subscribing and liking the video and trying to get us I feel 10 like million subscribers. Exactly. I feel like if we got to 10 million subscribers, that would be a pretty good prank, right? I think it would be too. I think so too, yeah. Speaking of pranks, we actually filmed an April Fool's twin prank wars on each other that we're going to be uploading in a few days. So stay tuned for that. And um, yeah, so with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching and we will see you guys next time.